Shara from Windshop Diaries and today I'm going to show you how I made this floating shelf bathroom mirror frame for my parents' bathroom renovation. So if you're ready to get building, let's go. My parents recently asked me to help them design and remodel their master bathroom. And although remodels aren't my favorite do-it-yourself project, I do like a good before and after, so I agreed. If you remember recently when I posted this modern console dresser, I mentioned that these would soon become my parents' vanities. Well, well, here they are in all their glory, and I needed to give them a nice modern mirror to complement its style. So I built a simple black frame to set on a simple floating shelf, and I'm honestly impressed with how scrap wood can look this high end. Now this isn't an earth shattering, super amazing, never before seen project, but if you need an inexpensive way to update your bathroom, this is legit one of the easiest projects I've ever done. And as always, I've got the written tutorial linked below if you're interested in checking it out. So if you're ready to get building, let's go. I had some leftover plywood strips in my scrap pile and since I was painting the frame, I decided this would be a good choice to use for it. I was making two frames for two mirrors for the two vanities, so I ripped enough plywood strips to make two frames. I ripped these to about two and a half inches wide or a one by three if you'd rather use solid wood for this. Then I adjusted my table saw blade to about a quarter of an inch high and moved my rip fence to two inches from the blade. I cut a dado in the strips and test fit the mirror. I had ordered a 24 inch by 24 inch by an eighth of an inch thick mirror from my local glass shop. So I tried to slide one of these into the dado and it was a little bit too small. So I adjusted the rip fence again about half a blade width further from the blade and ran it through again. This time the mirror fit and I was ready to cut these strips down. But before I cut anything, I went ahead and applied some edge banding across the front edge of these plywood strips. This will just give me a cleaner finish later when I paint. I double checked that my mirrors were in fact what I had ordered, 24 inches by 24 inches, and then I took my plywood strips over to the miter saw. I cut four pieces to make each frame, two 25 inches and two 23 and a half inches. I test fit the mirror into these pieces before painting. There's nothing worse than finishing something than realizing later that it doesn't fit. Once I verified that everything should fit well, I primed and painted these boards. Now, because I didn't miter the corners of these boards, four of the edges will be exposed, but two will be sitting on a shelf unseen and two will be too high up the wall for anybody less than like seven and a half feet tall to see. So I was okay with that. But if you wanted to, you could definitely miter the corners instead of just doing a butt joint here if you wanted. Once the paint was dry, I glued and nailed three sides of the frame together. Again, there are lots of ways to join this frame, but in my opinion, the frame only has to be as strong as what's inside of it and the mirror is pretty fragile. So I wasn't worried about this being super strong because if it fell and the frame broke, the mirror had to break too, so you'd pretty much be making another one anyway. So glue and nails were fine with me for this project, but feel free to beef this up if you prefer something stronger. After assembling three sides, I slid the mirror into the dados and installed the last piece of the frame. I touched up any paint scuffs and set it aside to completely dry. Now, the bottom and the top ends of the mirror have holes where the dados were cut, and again, these holes will be hidden on the shelf and at the top of the mirror, but if you wanted, you could totally putty these holes, let it dry, and then paint to hide them. Now I moved on to the shelf. I wanted the wood for the shelves to match the wood on the vanities, so I pulled out a leftover piece of white oak that I had after building them and cut it in half. Then I ripped it down to about five and a half inches wide on my table saw. These will be the floating shelves. After sanding and applying a clear coat poly, I packed up a few tools and headed over to my parents' house to install them in their bathroom. At this point, we had already installed the vanities and the sinks, so all that was left was the mirrors. So I measured down from the light fixture just to make sure that there would be enough room for the mirror on top of the shelf and marked where I thought that the shelf should go. Then I used a stud finder to find at least two studs in the wall and mark them. 
I held the shelf up on the wall about where I wanted it and transferred these marks to the board. This is where I knew I needed to drill the pocket holes so that they would hit a stud. So I took the board over to my pocket hole jig and drilled three quarter inch pocket holes at these marks. I started two two and a half inch pocket hole screws in these holes and brought them back to the bathroom. Once they were lined up with the studs and the shelf was the height that I wanted it, I drove one of the screws in place. Then I checked that it was level and drove the other screw. I was hesitant that these pocket holes wouldn't be sturdy enough with this just being three quarter inch thick board, but with the two and a half inch screws, it wasn't budging and I was actually pretty impressed. It would easily have held the weight of the mirror frame, but I wanted to secure the mirror to the wall still just to prevent it from tipping over or falling off the shelf. To do this, I set the mirror on the shelf and traced a line along the top of it. Then I used an L bracket and secured it to a stud at this mark that I made at the top of the mirror. Once the L bracket was secured to the wall, I set the mirror back in place and attached the other end of the bracket onto the top of the frame. Everything seemed to be pretty snug and holding well, so I handed it over to my mom and dad and headed back to my own shop to build my next project. This was such a super simple project, and while it could have been a lot more complicated, it turned out pretty well for just a few hours of work. I'm really glad that my mom and dad have a nice new bathroom set up, and I'm really happy with the design. By the way, if you want to check out how that vanity dresser was built, be sure to head over and watch that video. I will link it right here in the corner and below in the description if you want to check it out. In the meantime, I'll be working on my next project, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming next. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, happy building.